now time for the two national anthems. So there you have it, the two national anthems, the uh, players getting ready to uh, lock horns for this uh, uh, very important clash, I must admit. Uh, we put the pressure on Cameroon, but uh, Guinea, well, they'll be also looking to try and score the, the goals out here today. One change, we've got uh, Bangora, who uh, comes in for Saar to uh, lead the uh, strike force, linking up with uh, Torre. But apart from that, it's the same side that uh, managed to beat Gabon in their opening clash with uh, a 4-4-2, Torre and Bangora in the field. Well, you can see that we've got uh, Samuel Sumasise Agwebu, uh, Salia Seku and Cherry Van Isiaga with Ibrahima Sila, Sila at the back bought this uh, Cameroon side. Well, uh, Bertin Ebwele has decided to make three changes. Bella comes in for Abesulo, and uh, Kingwe replaces Asano, and uh, Abu Bakari replaces Yanusa on the, uh, the uh, right-hand side. So uh, three changes in attack with uh, Zorbo, the man, who will be leading the strike force out here today. Player for your star de Yaoundé, referee and his officials, well, Mr. Ndai from Senegal, referee and officials from Nigeria. So here we have the two captains. It's uh, Seku, the, uh, the midfielder. Centre back, Dio. Marcella. Suleiman Camera just uh, talking about the importance of uh, getting the right uh, result out here today. Very important. He says that they play with no complexity and meet their objective, and that is to the semi-finals so they can head off to India in October. The youngest coaches of the tournament, 31 years of age. Very proud of his boys so far. They've done wonderful work so far. They've got goals to one in their opening clash. That doesn't happen every day, does it? Six goals. Remarkable result. And, uh, 
perfect way to get things going. There we have uh, that man, Suleiman Kamara. As I said, very young, 31 years of age. And there's the eye <laughs> of a technician. Tactician who's looking to try and uh, get back to back victories. Two previous matches between these two teams, they managed to uh, play at a one all draw in 1999. And Guinea did host the uh, this under 17 Africa Cup of Nations, and then it was in 2009 in Algeria, and that was a goalless draw. So both teams looking to try and get their first victories over their opponents, and there's the Cameroon. Cubs of Cameroon ready to get down to action. And the referee, Mr. Ndai, getting the game underway. High ball over the top to the hands of uh, the goalkeeper, Essel. Playing in green with the yellow socks, and Guinea with the green socks and the red shirts. Well, the idea of getting the ball out to Bella down that uh, right hand side. Functioning. And what we'll find, and uh, the way that these players from Guinea play very. Very quick and very uh, skillful as well. That's going to be a free kick. There's also a player from Cameroon who's gone down in Z. Agwibu, the midfielder, just trying to get past a couple of uh, Cameroon players and finally chopped down for a free kick just inside of the Cameroon half. with it that's a deep ball going down towards Bella but the uh, Guinea defense is dealing with that very well here's Samuel they're in the ball Cameroon territory oh, kept in a great header wonderful play good skills there I must admit and that's a, a good attacking move the ball does come back to Fuda Fuda's got plenty of space gets his crossing but it's straight at the goalkeeper Silla should have done better with the delivery Of this uh, big pitch and the uh, the space is out wide. It's going to be a throw in for Guinea. Cadets. Quite happy just to pass the ball around at the moment at the back, but they've got to be a little bit more meticulous. The ball has been uh, poached there by Torre. Little change of direction, plenty of three players up deep in uh, Guinea territory. Can they get the uh, the crossover into the penalty area? The question is no, deflection, and it's going to be a corner. But uh, quick uh, counter attack there by Abu Bakari. And he had Zobo in the midfield, but uh, in the middle of the pitch, but uh, didn't have many options. The Guinea defenders coming back very quick. comes the corner with tight marking at the, at the moment corner 
I've taken a little flick, but that's gone off, uh, comes off Sheriff's foot, and it's uh, corner number two. Here it is, that's a good header, oh, tipped over the crossbar. And a wonderfully angled spring header from the captain, Dio, at the back. And uh, just on the edge of the penalty area, another corner, another opportunity. Starting very strongly here, Cameroon. And the header this time just uh, flies over the post. And a little clash there. Siaga just uh, colliding with uh, Dio. Flash of heads. Seemed to be when they were running back. Just uh, collided kind of in slow motion. All of these very hot temperatures uh, here today in Port Chanty. I'm sure that plenty of water will need to be consumed. Let's uh, deal back up. From the actual header, a little collision. Strong head, so there's another Cameroon player down. And another little foul there on Eguibu. Fix it quickly. He pulled down into the corner, but it's just uh, been struck too firmly. No one really. Running onto it, throw in for Cameroon. Six and a half minutes gone here in Port Chanty. Cameroon with a little bit more possession than their opponents. Probably the best way that they can uh, try and prevent this Guinea side from getting themselves as many goals they scored in the first match. They might find it slightly more complicated against Cameroon. More physical than Gapon. Overhead and another one to follow. It's a good flick on, a good opportunity here. That's a oh, that was nearly a great pass to Bella and Guinea. Unable to link up in the midfield. Controlled there by Fuda. And there's Cherry for the back, trying to pick out to Gerard Bangora. The only player, incidentally, who is not based in Guinea. Plays for. Santa Tien. 17 years of age. Well, I do have uh, one other player, in fact, who's uh, based in Belgium, Ibrahim Kamara, the midfielder, who will uh, potentially come on later on in the game. Little flick there, but uh, and a free kick being given. Tayo just uh, grappling his way. Raising his arms is uh, Bella. Oh, just uh, gets pulled down there by Samuel. He picks up a yellow card. Be careful with the yellow cards. Do you want to pick up uh, 
pick up a couple of yellow cards. You missed the uh, the following game, of course. And that wouldn't be good because you've potentially only got five games to play in this entire tournament. Uh, it's all right if you win your first two, but uh, if you don't, then you might miss out on a pivotal match in the third match uh, in the group. Well tidied up by uh, Fuda. And the ball comes out to the left-hand side. Charging up that left side is uh, Nugamsa. And that's uh, making a little bit of space, but just dispossessed uh, in very close quarters by the Guinean defence. Cherry Fisiaga working really hard to prevent any of these Cameroon players from getting a chance to take a shot and test uh, Ibrahim Silla. High, high kick there, free kick for Guinea. Guiamsa dangerously lifting his leg up in the air. Good work down that left side. And a free kick, uh, dangerously placed free kick. Isiaga's got a bit of bandage around his head, but he's come up for this one. Plenty of Guinea players, including Toure and Cisse. Aguibu is going to take the free kick on the right-hand side. Guinea looking to try and test the goalkeeper, SL. Free kick comes into the penalty area. Over the mat, there's two players there, but the goalkeeper comes out uh, without any major threat. of extra reach to prevent the forwards from making contact in the air. It's a good header and a good opportunity here. The battle is there, but the goalkeeper comes out, smothers the danger. Silla doing well, but under a bit of pressure. And uh, Isiaga really darting back to try and prevent Zobo from getting in there. That's a good pass, good opportunity. He's onside as well. Can he get a shot in Zobo? He does indeed that it's uh, straight at the goalkeeper herself. But it just goes to uh, underline the threat that they have. So, of course, a uh, very important player in this uh, Guinean side. Nice touch over on that far side by Nguamsa. Nice one-two as well. Needs to take the ball forward. Little chip over the top. And the danger again lurks. The time it comes off the shoulder of uh, Toure, who's frustrated on that occasion. Picked up here down this right-hand side and a good attacking manoeuvre. Little pass into the penalty box and it's uh, well controlled there, but the shot is tame. Cameroon with uh, Zobo and uh, Sakava working well. made by Fuda. Well won in the uh, in the middle by Eto. Fuda. There's Eto. Check for the counter attack. Is two or eight. Cool play by Cheriff just to uh, get the ball out wide to Suma. Maybe 
probably not the right decision. No uh, foul given. Isiaga takes the ball. And uh, that might be too strong. It's a shame. Would have been a good ball over to uh, Gerard Bangora. And, of course, uh, Suleiman Kamara watches on. What are you doing? This could you feel? Well, there's the uh, wonderful run into the penalty area. Just running out of space. And on a nice little charge there, Ngoyamsa. And he is... Well, that's a beautiful touch. Watch the look at the acceleration of Toure. Toure has got some pegs. Trying to get past the long-legged left back. And he does indeed. Gets, he gets his crossover. Just cuts out the edge of the six-yard box. And that's a good interception. Good ahead of that to prevent the connection. Well, hasn't he got some pegs, this guy? Just look at the size of Dio. Couldn't really get a decent crossover into the penalty area to pick out Bangora, but my oh my, skinned two players down that left side. Danger lurking. Just uh, pushing the ball a little bit too far forward. Thread the ball through there, Suma, and he commits the foul, just bringing down. Goyamsa. Ball comes out wide now. Good chance here is Bangora waiting for a little bit of support. It's the ball. Uh, edge of the uh, penalty area. Oh, it's a great pass out wide. Can he get a decent shot in? No, there's an attempted crossover into the middle and maybe a wasted opportunity. Try to pick out Torre, who's the go-to man up front. A deadly, dangerous hit man who's got a prolific strike on him and a wonderful set of skills. I thought maybe it should have been a, a shot Again, the danger is lurking. Say and Seku down that right hand side. Here's Seku. Free kick. defence going in quite firmly and on that occasion it was Fuda who uh, made contact with Agwabu Shin look at that, very dangerous two footed tackles, got to be careful with those So, a free kick. For Guinea. Here we go, it's teed up for the captain, but uh, Seku's drive. 
halted in its early stages. That's a lovely pass. Now, waiting for Seku again. All laid off by Aguibu. He's got uh, Samuel down his left-hand side, who gets a decent cross in, but it's uh, not as high as he would have preferred. Goes back to Salia. Samuel, the play from Guinea, passing the ball around, making the most of their uh, players. Little chip over the top, and it's cheeky. There's an uh, offside flag that went up. The idea was good, but you could just see there was a fraction offside. But uh, danger lurking. Suma was the man. Right underneath the referee, the uh, linesman's nose. Just needed to just uh, get himself behind that different shades of grass. Well, the opportunity up the other end coming from Bella. involved as well and you can just see that oh, that really wasn't a well executed shot no threat for Silla very Masella of FC Mendy just 14 years of age one of the youngest uh, players in this uh, total the 17 Africa Cup of Nations here in Gabon 20 minutes in, no goal scored just yet. A few scoring opportunities. You can just see that there's uh, 22 lively players, teenagers, youngsters on the pitch. Who uh, are going to make their mark. Good charge from the back from Kingwe. He's possessed though, He's doing it a little bit too much. Going to be a throw in for Guinea. Some good work over on the other side now is Gerard Bangora. That's a good through ball for Cameroon. Can they connect? No, the goalkeeper comes out, Silla. And a pretty straightforward clearance uh, from him. Just letting Abu Bakari down. Good throw in. Now that's going to be a good through ball. The flag stays down. Good opportunity here. Oh, he, can he get the ball into the back of the net? It's gone in. And the goal being scored by Toure. I told you he's the man. And he has put Guinea ahead. It was a one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, Assel. And he just got a good touch. But he had, he's got great acceleration. And he ran onto it to fire into an empty net. But the through ball was delicious. Goal for Guinea. Well, let's just have a look at that again. Toure, outside of the right foot, runs onto it. Not even the Cameroon defence can get back on track and in time to prevent this man from firing into the back of the net. Great score there for Jibril Fanjay Toure. Another youngster. He's just 14 years of age. Played the first match. And, of course, he was the man who scored a hat-trick. He's the deadly striker who's now on four goals. And a brilliant finish. Very composed, very calmly done. field it's a good pass out to the right hand side with Sumar making a decent run 
Cameron winning the ball back, looking to try and score an equaliser. Siaga with a good header. Here's Bella. Control was good, but uh, here's Siaga. Good enough to clear the ball, diffuse the danger. Fuda's big throw into the penalty box. Takes uh, an angled header from Zobo. Well, that's a uh, dangerous pass back. Needs to be careful. Seku not happy with that. Free kick one. This free kick fired up field. Well, perfect time to score a goal. There's no, there's no perfect time to score a goal. It's uh, any time is a perfect time to score a goal. But halfway through the first half, Guinea just going up one nil up. And they're in the driving seat now. Good darting run from Ngoyas Ramsa. His cross hits the side netting. Not afraid to uh, dart up that left flank. Really, uh, pretty decent wing back. Excuse me, Cameron under a bit of pressure here. Ball out to Samuel. Samuel trying to get past this man, does very well to get past Bella. Now he's got space. Can he get a decent crossover? Comes into the penalty box, and there's a good, strong header from Nz, the central defender, to clear the danger. But again, good delivery. Throw in taken quickly. Ball comes out to Aguibu. It's possessed. Oh, that was just a really good block, I thought. On uh, Eto. James Eto of uh, Musango FC, 16 years of age. Now, Cameroon on the edge of the penalty area, long range shot, it's uh, not on target, but uh, got behind it, did strike the ball very well. He's just pushing the ball a little bit too far away from him, couldn't get, have that extra split second just to bring the ball around to get a firm strike on goal. Controlled at the back by Fuda. See the throw in. Fuda will take it. He's going deep. Bella here. Nope, sorry, it's not uh, Bella there. It's uh, Sanko up. Sanko's up. And Samuel takes the throw in. Siaka. Oh, they've given the ball away. Now. Well, it was a grass cutter. You can really see a way through with the congestion. But Abu Bakari testing, getting the taste of the shooting uh, addiction. He wants to try and test the goalkeeper too. And I think that that's the uh, the message coming from Bertin Ebueli. Really have to try and. Uh, Get some shots in on goal. Is Seku, the captain of this Guinean side. Quite interesting having uh, a coach who's got no football playing experience at all in uh, Suleiman Kamara. That he hasn't uh, got the ability, though. 
moment it seems to be working very well. His uh, opposite number, Bertine Puelli. Four years of age from Yaoundé, former left back. He played for a few teams in, uh, in his homelands. Oh, that's a really, really strong challenge. Needs to be careful there, Dio. He's going to pick up a yellow card. It's just too, too physical. And uh, it's the second yellow card after the left back Samuel picked one up as well for Guinea. Just look at him coming through. down to the left. Nekwibu again. Well, just showing a little bit too much of the ball. It's a good challenge. And the ball nearly kept in. But it's uh, Cameroon who get possession here. Wasted opportunity, really, that. Yeah, as I mentioned, uh, Eboile, former Tone Yaoundé defender. Played for Persa Samputra Samarinda and Olympic Mavolier. Actually coached uh, Tony Yonde. Or Yonde Thunder. Want to translate that? High ball into the penalty area. Too many red shirts back to curtail the danger. Strong defensive play from Fuda, having a good game. Well, he gets himself a little bit of space, pushing the ball a little bit too far. And that's a great ball upfield. Now, watch out for this man. He's already scored a goal, Torre, but uh, this time it's the big man who has the last word on that occasion. Dio. Control let him down on that occasion. It's going to be a throw in, though. We're pushing it back. Do you had a case there, but uh, Samuel's throw in to Bangora. Now we've got uh, Salia and Samuel pushing the ball down towards the byline. A little cross, but uh, it's going to be a goal kick. Just got bundled off the ball there. Maybe one touch too many. Chasing back was Abu Bakari. These youngsters get around. Abu Bakari. So I'm just down around that left hand corner just a few moments ago. He's playing it right back. And it's 30 degrees. So very hot. And plenty of humidity. Not easy conditions to run around for 90 minutes, I can tell you that. Agwebu. It's the ball back. Into the midfield it goes. That's a good little pass, that is, but uh, they've lost it again. Samuel. Good skills. Oh, beautiful. The fans enjoying that. Bit of a sombrero, isn't it? Gonna beat the captain of Cameroon Dio with in the high ball. That was not a bad through ball to try and pick out Sobo. The accuracy was uh, lacking a bit of accuracy. Idea was good. Field, getting the ball out wide to Fanji Torre. Watch him go, watch him go. He's not scared of running through. Can he get his touch in? He does get a last touch, but it's uh, the goalkeeper 
It's Sale who comes out. Such a dangerous threat, isn't he? Pushing forward. Takes on the defenders, pushes the ball through. That's a great idea. The acceleration was good as well. And here they have it again. And this time in the midfield, it's Salia. Can he get his cross in? Well chested. Right, you can see. And the clearance by Dio. Samuel. Not getting bundled off the ball by a bloke twice his size. Well organized. Look at the, the player Seku in the midfield there, just uh, waiting to get the ball back. Now, change of direction. If he gets the ball out, well, that's a good pass, but it's too too strong. Should have gone for the uh, more squarer option of uh, Sumar on the right hand side. Oh, the neutrals are really enjoying what they're seeing, and also the, the fans from Guinea making plenty of noise. Going under a bit of pressure here now. Ten minutes to go in the first half. Bangora matching with Nz. Interesting to hear from uh, Ebuele after that 4-0 defeat to Ghana. He really did just say that, tried to explain the the hammering that they had, he just said, I think that those guys, they just panicked. It was if a well, dangerous uh, pass there and a desperate clearance from Cameron. And it was as if they were playing their first match of their career. And they, just because it was difficult to play a team who were very well organized with lots of uh, matches played previously. they did uh, fight back in the second half they just weren't able to capitalize and find the back of the net and he went on to say that in these competitions you've really got to score goals even if you do lose you still have to bang in a couple to try and shift the uh, momentum They also received the uh, sport and education minister from uh, Cameroon who paid visit to the youngsters to uh, lift their morale. There's a volley coming in from Zobo, but he was tightly marked there by Siaga. It was not an issue for Silla. Uh, following that visit from the sports minister from Cameroon to their hotel, they, uh, they kind of lifted their morale. And you can see that area today, despite the fact that they've conceded a goal against probably the best team in this group, along with Ghana, of course, you can't deny that. But uh, looking a little bit better. But they come up against that. He's offside there, I'm afraid, Tori. But uh, another very dangerous run. And that was very close indeed. And the linesman, I think, uh, had to make his move, but he was convinced it was an early call as well. Let's have a look at this again. Yeah, he's uh, at least half a metre offside. Just so dangerous, though. Wonderful running lines. He showed that he can take on players. He really is a player for the future. Siaga. Seku, the captain, so where's the, pulls the ball back to uh, Suma. He goes down though, clutching his ankle. A bit of contact.
uh, Fuda. Oh, dispossessed there by the ever-present Torre, who just uh, comes back to midfield. Good protection of the ball as well. Oh, I love this guy, Samuel. He's, uh, he's a small chap, but what great skills he has. Not afraid to take on the big guys. Bangora just backing into the central uh, defender there. Now, we, what we don't think about regarding uh, these youngsters who are here in this uh, competition is that, of course, they have to also go to school and combine it with uh, playing football. And uh, the Cameroon team had a bit of a problem with the, uh, with the syllabus and, and just uh, finding time to actually train together because of the, the difficult school year on the date so it's difficult for them to actually try and get themselves time to, to work on on their uh, on their schooling Tory's 23rd minute goal separating these two teams with Guinea as it stands, into the semi-finals. What a done deal. Cameroon are looking uh, a lot better. Although they don't really want to be giving all away like that. Picked up by Salia. Kicked out by Suma for a throw in for Cameroon. Soliman Kamara, the head coach of this under 17 side for Guinea. Still working at it. And that's going to be a Goal kick, I believe. Sakaba just uh, clashing with the Siaga. Oh, he's back up on his feet. A little bit disappointed and frustrated that he didn't win the free kick, I think, but. Uh, Problem for the fans here from Guinea who've made the trip. Who are based in uh, Libreville, of course, or Port Gentil, who have made the, the journey out uh, west or north more so. Well, good battling by Samuel. He really is a very Committed footballer, isn't he? Push from the back from Bella. That's all it took. And Samuel Conte of uh, Academy Horoya. One of the top teams in Guinea, of course, Horoya. Winning the free kick. Here they are with the throw in. Two minutes to go in the first half. One goal to nil. Another free kick. Well, getting far too many fouls, uh, Cameroon. It's just basically because well, they just have good, close control of the ball, the Guinean teenagers. A 
Aguibu with the free kick into the penalty area. It's lofted high. Isiaga's there, and there's a good chance here. The ball has uh, come out wide, waiting for a little bit of support. Another cross coming in from Aguibu at the far post. It's a shot, but it's uh, a snapshot from the captain, Saku. Couldn't keep it down. So what he was trying to do... Well, he just uh, lifted his head, really. And he didn't commit himself to the shot. Just thinking it would be easy to get his shot on goal. Really needed to get, keep the knee over the ball to keep it down. Defensive header from Aguibu, who's been uh, very present here tonight. Here's Zobo with a cross coming in. Cleared comfortably in the middle by Sharif. 45 minutes are up. We'll probably have a couple of minutes of added time. One, in fact. Dio, the captain, with a high ball over into the penalty area. Headed out wide. We'll be looking again. Uguamas Amsa. Looking to try and uh, get past his marker. And the last chance, they want to try and get some kind of a high ball into the penalty area. Pick out uh, Sakava or Zobo, there it is. And there's uh, good contact, but it's gone straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Graham Silla hasn't been tested very much in the first half. Sure that uh, Beate Nebuele will stoke up the fire amongst these youngsters at half time in the changing rooms. It is Bella. Oh, just taking too much on. And that's the half time whistle blown by Monsieur Ndai from Senegal. It's one goal to nil, and Guinea have the upper hand. Fourth goal of the campaign scored by Panji Toure. And uh, that's a brilliant first 45 from the silly cadet. Welcome back to the Port Gentil for the second half of this uh, total under 17 CAF Africa Cup of Nations. In Gabon 2017, we have a goal to nil for Guinea. And it's a good opportunity and a great shot coming in. Silla clears the danger. It was directly at him. But I can tell you that Cameroon have come out flying and a first scoring opportunity a handball offense there free kick for guinea in the opening 20 seconds so very strong the first play of the second half and uh, they're trying to get themselves that goal that would just cancel out the 23rd minute effort scored by banji Torre, the 14 year old hit man who scored four goals in this competition so far but silla coming to the rescue for guinea it was a firm strike as well. Cameroon pushing the ball forward. Siaga at the back. And uh, Samuel forced to keep the ball into touch. He's telling his teammates to stay cool. Bertin Ebuele having a very strong talk at half time in the changing rooms to stoke up the fire amongst these youngsters. He knows that they have nothing to lose, they've got to fight for this one, and they've got to try and get a goal. That's a good cross coming over, but uh, slightly. Too high for Zobo to make contact and trouble Silla, the goalkeeper. The idea was good. Sell. Who gets contact, but uh, that's a good pass out wide. 
Whoa, just uh, slipping off his feet there. On the left-hand side there is uh, Bella. Sorry, Abu Bakari. Somo comes on to replace Abu Bakari. Can be a goal kick for Guinea. Jules uh, Misomo and Gart, the AS Fortuna de Yaoundé player. Played uh, 37 minutes in the first match and they lost against uh, Garnet. Now he gets his chance to play a little bit more here today. Well, that was the clash of heads. And uh, it's Sharif who in the wars there. Forwards now on the pitch with uh, Zobo and uh, Bella as well. That's a good strong header at the back and uh, desperate clearance there from uh, Sumar. Didn't have an option. Cameroon with uh, dominating the opening minutes of this second half. Got the corner, and Eto fires it into the penalty box. It's well taken. Oh, the goalkeeper Silla misses it completely. Very fortunate that no one pounced there. I think uh, everybody in the six-yard box was stunned. And didn't realise that he was going to miss that. Even Kingwe was at the back coming through. came through very fast. Well, you can't give the ball away like that. That was uh, suicide. Finally, Sumar and Cherry linking up. Now, this is where Guinea have been dominating in the midfield. Oh, that's a big push in the back. Bakari bringing down Suma. Free kick for Guinea. Seku, not a good pass. Picked up by Fuda. And a high ball coming in. That's not bad. It's uh, gone a little bit too far. Slightly too strong for Zobo. Tees it up for Abu Bakari. Abu Bakari with a shot, gets blocked. Free kick for Guinea. Seku stands on it. Bangor down his right side. Little chip through into the middle there is uh, Toure. And that was well marshalled by Ngoyamsa. Ahmed uh, Ngoyamsa Nunchili of uh, Academy Isaac. 16 years of age. Gora up against Dio. 
but he's given the ball away. That's a good chance for Van Gora if he can get past his marker. Forced the defender to kick the ball out. You just see that he was under a lot of pressure there. Indeed, Kingway. And Van Gora gets a second chance there. Is slightly more physical than his uh, fellow centre centre forward Toure. Does well in holding the ball up and then making the pass through to his uh, to the hitman Agwebu with the free kick into the penalty area it goes. Oh, is that handball? Surely that's handball. Oh, look at the shot. I think it was handball from uh, Isiaga or maybe a foul on it too who uh, is holding his neck there, following the challenge. This is a uh, blind strike. Pretty decent indeed. Here's Samuel. Oh, Torrey's little flick, he's cheeky, isn't he? Agribu takes the ball up, he's got Torrey back with him if he wants. Good acceleration. Oh, Samuel, now they've got their options here. Can he get a shot in? One, two is perfect. Look at that. And the goalkeeper, Sell, comes out to uh, stall the danger. But Torre linking it beautifully. Let's have a look at this again. That was a sumptuous one, two. Tried to side foot it in. Didn't realize that a Sell had to uh, come out so quickly. And a cross coming into the penalty box, Bangora. Just backpedalling and trying to get an angled header under pressure. Goal kick it is. Cameroon. Ball out on the right hand side. Then by Fuda. That's uh, not a good through ball. Christian Dayo Ngakule, Cotton Sport to Garua. Nice flick. Oh, there's a couple of players there as well. She couldn't get it to a teammate. Little flick, nice touch to gain space on the right hand side. Needs to get a decent cross in over at the far post. Well, it needed a great header from Suma to clear the danger. Bello was lurking just behind him. Nguyamsa tries to get a cross in. Ball does come back, but it's blocked again. Abu Bakari. Bangora. Smart play indeed. From uh, Monguibu. Bangora picks the ball up down this right hand side. Waits for a little bit of support and dispossessed. Good, uh, good play there from Abu Bakari. And the challenge was made. Throw in for Cameroon. Possibly a foul. It's a siding challenge. We'll call it a foul. Tinebwele just talking to his uh, players to move forward and uh, can't lay back, got to score goals. Eto, losing the ball. Here we go. That pass not good enough for Toure. Pretty weak. Cut out by Kingwe and uh, rolled out to Z. Sumo getting a touch to the wall, the substitute. 
Bangora. That's what he does best. He just fights and fights and fights. Winning the ball. Oh, <laughs> that was just pure class. Now, if that didn't go to uh, Isiaga, the back heel from uh, Samuel, he would have looked a full. Little chip through, that's not bad at all. Torre has got a bit of uh, a problem there because Ngoyamsa is back. Taking the ball away from his goalkeeper. A little change of direction, needs to get the ball over to Bangor, who's waiting on this right-hand side. That would have been perfect if he would have lifted the ball forward. That was the... That was the the moment when he should have put the ball over to his uh, teammate. Look at that, that was pure class. Change for Cameroon, Bella's going off. And on it comes Asana. Innocent Asana now, Cotton Sport the Garoua. For 53 minutes in the last match against uh, Ghana. Long-range effort for Guinea. It's been skied. Guinea on the attack, good through ball, good opportunity. Oh, that's it. Torre couldn't get the final touch. Strong defensive play. Kingwe, I think, was uh, made the challenge. But uh, Banjo Torre making the call. Do apologize. Yeah, it was uh, in Z, in fact. Quick kick for Cameroon. The fact that they still had the ball at their feet. Goyamsa. Well, Cameroon with a try and Control that ball. Now watch out for this man. Bundle off the ball on that occasion. Can really get firm control of it. Defensive header. Long range effort. It's a great shot, but it's what? Well, about five meters wide, in fact. But uh, it's a fine strike from uh, Ito. comes on to replace Bangora, Santa Tienna. It's the uh, Academy Horoya defender, in fact, but he'll probably play more so in the midfield. Centre forward, you just uh, move back a little. There he is. That's well won there by Abu Bakari. His through ball is not good enough to get past this Siaka. 
Obviously, Zilba was saying over the top might have been a better option. That's a good through ball. Now, here he is, the uh, substitute, Jibril. Well, he just got a little bit of contact with it, and Goyamsa bring him down. I think it was a foul. There was a bit of a sh bit of shirt pulling as well. Just chucked him down afterwards to uh, give the referee no option but to award the uh, free kick. Now, Cameroon on that far side. Oosh, that's going to be a free kick. Samuel on Fowder. A chance for Cameroon. Neto is the man who's teeing it up. Abu Bakari's there as well. It's, uh, quite a way out. strike on him, about 30, 32 uh, yards out. Referee just uh, diffusing a little bit of frustration with the big man. Seku the captain up against Dio, and here we go. Eto with the free kick, he's gone for goal, and it's uh, kind of punched away. No, he didn't even make contact with it. I think that uh, Silla decided not to uh, Go for it because it wasn't on target. Well, we'll call it that anyway. It wasn't far off though, was it? his uh, right shoulder. Kind of fell on his back. Well, that could be a uh, be nasty, but... Uh, um, we can see... Uh, some sort of goalkeeper warming himself up. Dumboya. Well, the Guinea fans, uh, of course, uh, doubling down from Conakry, or possibly those who are residing in Gabon. They're not stopping the party just yet are they they want to really enjoy themselves here today and I tell you if they manage to get this win that is really mission accomplished for Suleiman Kamara a 5-1 win over Gabon in the opening match well I uh, thought that was going to happen time wasting is the call well, he did feel as though he was injured, but in any case. Battling in the midfield. This time it was from uh, Mesomo, the uh, substitute. Taken quickly, he's gone deep. Here's Zobo. Sumar makes the challenge and wins the throw. Just gained an extra five metres. Might gain a few more as well. Well won. Good uh, battling there by Cissé in the middle. Isiaga at the back. Weighing up his options, needs to be careful. That's a ball given away, that is, by uh, Salia. And uh, that's come into the penalty area. Zobo going looking for it. Desperate defending now. Got to be a little bit more meticulous and not uh, 
look too relaxed. They may pay the price. Uh, here's Zorro with a great shot. Oh, my word, what a rocket. What a goal there from Zorro. That was absolutely sublime. It doesn't get better than that. An absolute beauty from the centre forward. It just came out of nowhere. He didn't have much space. There's the chip over the top. Look what he does. Gets in front of his man. But look at that. It's a half volley into the corner at a very acute angle. That's a striker's goal. What a perfect way to score an equaliser. Now we have a game on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, with 22 minutes to go. Torre scored the guinea goal halfway through the first half. Now Zobo has basically done the same in the second, but he's scored for Cameroon, and now the Cubs of Cameroon are starting to mature. Can they build on it? Or will it be Guinea, the silly cadets, who can actually react? Here's Zobo again, trying to win the ball. He's done well, done very well. Now it's a good opportunity. He can square the ball into the path of Misomo. It gets cleared. Didn't he do well? Well, he's on fire. Throw it. This time he goes back to Silla. First goal of this competition. And he'll want more. He's not getting the service that he required before that goal. And that was uh, a delightful chip over the top. Great skills. They win the free kick as well this time. Ngoyamsa scored the only goal against. Sorry, uh, Ngoyamsa, who uh, is the left back. He's had a very very present throughout. Well, I thought that Toure's goal was uh, was beautifully scored. Great skills and vision. But that goal was just outrageous. Here we go again. There's the pass through into the penalty area, but Sassel comes and collects. out Cameroon. They can't just believe that they're dominating the game. Agwebu's pass towards uh, Toure. And that's another chance this time Silla comes out and uh, gets uh, takes the ball ahead of Masomo. The flag did go up though. 20 minutes to go. Abisolo is coming on Fabu Bakari. Have a solo manga for the Cold Football Day Brasserie. 16 years of age. And, uh, another forward. All back goals. But uh, a draw. That could. Well, I mean, you know, as long as they don't lose, they still in with a shout. Of course, Cameroon. Coming up against Gabon. Final game. We're throwing four Cubs. Taking quickly. It's going to be a throw in. Into the penalty area. The overhead kick, and it's gone into the hands of Silla high for any centre forward to reach with his head. The tall youngster is the uh, Silla. Swimming camera. He knows that they've just given away a great opportunity of qualifying 
It's far from over, I can tell you that. Control all laid off to uh, Fuda. Oh, wonderful battling over on that far side. Samuel trying to. Oh, Tori. Oh, the ball went through. Jabril running onto it. There was contact. That's why his uh, marker was left grounded. We see that. There's the click of the heels on uh, Dio, the captain. Vassanet Darsuma is going to come on. He's the centre forward for uh, CFL MyG. Does that mean he's going to take the Torre off? I'm not too sure. Maybe uh, Cisse. He's been quite quiet for Guinea. There you go. Play. That's a good challenge there from Samuel. Now a counter attack. Nicely squared into the middle there by Cisse. And that's a uh, ball has been passed back to him, but Dio just gets rid of the ball. You want to take that quickly for the Cameron defence. Head back, as I said. There's going to be some tired legs out there, out there now with 15 minutes to go. Cheeky through ball, it's just not good enough. by Abisoto. Sheriff comes in to prevent Zoba from getting the ball. I think we've got a substitution. Doss will uh, come on and he will replace Cisse as I mentioned. I think is logical. Quite a quiet game. You want to keep Torre on there. We've got Jibril on the right hand side. Agwebu of course who's the uh, dead ball specialist. In terms of, well, the uh, beautiful crosser of the ball. And then you've got Seku and, uh, and Salia in the midfield. Second, the captain for Guinea, Siaga at the back. And then Samuel, he'll always go on a little bit of a run. Been given as much space as he had in the first half. Going for Cameroon. Fuda. See, that's a good ball into the midfield. Oh, he needs to get there with two players out wide. He needs to get the ball out, handball. Well, they're lucky there. Look at the two players down the left-hand side. You had Asano, and I think you had Zobo as well. Yellow card there for uh, Suma, the uh, right back. Asano trying to thread the ball through. be a, a result if Cameroon can clamber back and score a second goal. Taking the free kick will be this man here.
Ezio. Oh, he needs to take that again. <laughs> well, if he can do that again, might just go in. Samuel's gone down. Well beaten there, wasn't he? Silla. In any case, the, uh, the whistle had been blown. Eto goes for strike number two. Straight at the wall. And that's uh, offside. Come up against uh, uh, Ghana. Come up against Gabon in a later match here at uh, the Stade Port Gentil. Ghana, of course, victorious against Cameroon in their opening game, 4-0, and a win for the Black Star. That's basically will take them through to the semi-finals. Guinea looking to try and get another goal. Traffic there. It's good play from Seku. But that through ball, not good enough. Cleared blindly by uh, Nugu Yamsa. Flore trying to skin his uh, skin the defender. Well, the midfielder have a solo. Seku, the captain. to attack watch out for Zobo good ta tackle there well a clearance from Cherry taken quickly picked up by Abasolo and a little stumble but luckily for Karen they've got Dio at the back Two. It's just not good enough. Oh, they're very fortunate. There's the. Oh, he's offside. Flag stays down because it wasn't Troy going for it. It's kicked out. See, they're uh, concerned, aren't they? The Cameroon defence. Oh, great skills. This is wonderful from Gibril. Ball's just cut out. Unable to make contact. Great skills from Zobo there. Zobo on his own with two defenders. And finally, they managed to get a touch to get the ball back to Silla, the goalkeeper. Ten minutes remaining for one of these two teams to try and go for the three points. Guinea win, they go through to the semi finals. If Cameroon win, well, they've just. Uh, started their campaign having lost 4-0 in their opener They're looking a much better organized team in this second cl clash in uh, group a you've got to work you've got to work you've got to make sure that you are aware of your where your teammates are There's a lot of movement off the ball you've got to remain disciplined as much as you can as well Got to test the goalkeeper. We haven't had too many shots on goal, but they've still managed to bang one into the back of the net. There's the uh, defensive header. Back to Assel. Just possessed, giving the ball away. Luckily, the solo continued to fight for it and won it back. Marched off the ball. Oh, 
Seku, that's a nasty little uh, foul there by Ngui Amsa. Picked up a yellow card, I think. Good opportunity. Again, you have Jibril, who's uh, putting plenty of pressure on that central defence. Taken quickly by Sumar, the right back. Back to Seku. His Torre. Seku picks the ball up again. Oh, that's an ugly cross. Kind of forced into it. And here's uh, Samuel over on that left hand side. See if he goes for a run. Good skills. Look at him, he's going to go all the way. Maybe. Showing what he's capable of doing. Well, the battle was interesting, Asana getting hold of the ball, but uh, couldn't release one of his teammates on that right-hand side. And some tired limbs out there. And some strong challenges as well. Sherry foos down. A bit of cramp. with four points, but they'll, they'll have to wait and see what happens in the final round of matches, of course. And see what happens tonight as well. Group B takes uh, the two matches from Group B. He will place tomorrow start the Lamity in uh, Libreville Tanzania kick off the proceeding against Angola they held the Eagles of Mali to a goalless draw in their opener but remarkable for the Serengeti boys especially as Mali are the well, not just the defending champions but also the uh, runners up in the 17 FIFA World Cup in 2017 good through ball is Jibril on that left hand on that left hand side gets past his man tries to get a crossover Dio blocks it somehow well somehow I shouldn't say that he's got legs as long as the Congo River here he is again a little flick over the top brought down goal kick to go, Guinea level with Cameroon, Suma, that's a free kick, Guiamsa, just uh, tugging on the shirt of uh, Suma, Torre, going for a run, change of flanks, that's well played, ball comes out, Sally right to Samuel, Pass. Oh, that's going to be a foul. And Gribu just bundled over by Dio. And the free kick for Kitty. Quite happy to take over in that corner. Kind of like a corner. Perfectly positioned for Agribu. Now we'll have to see if they can get themselves a second goal. A winner here in Port Chanty. Seku takes it, goes for goal, it's gone over. Here's the uh, goal kick then that follows. 
Thought Seku would do a better job than that, try and keep it down. He's already hit or something, a shot high over the crossbar. It's a good challenge coming from the, the Guinea midfielders. Oh, what a challenge. And Suma does enough. Toure. Slightly too high for uh, Abasolo to get hold of. Free kick for Guinea. Just Doss getting himself involved. Just toe poking the ball into no man's land, really. Good header, but that's uh, just towering over the top and using his hands to keep them down. Well, I think that the man of the match should most definitely be Fanji Torre, just for what he's done. The goal of the game is comes from the centre forward for Cameroon. It stays like this. As far as I'm concerned, that goal from Stefan Zobo was outrageously good. But it's still not over. Cameroon looking to try and get themselves. Goal number two, the header comes in. It's not good enough, it's not hit the target. And Misomo, the header straight into the hands of Salah. Yeah, my man of the match, I think, must be Fanji Toure, 14-year-old. Beautiful individual goal. And the way that he's just attacked the defense, the way he's managed to get past defenders. Just full of skills, the dangerous threat every time that they move forward. He's just uh, lost a little bit of gas over the last 10 minutes, but uh, otherwise, a real threat, and a real talent. Just put this guy over on the, in the at left back also. Some wonderful skills, Samuel. few seconds of normal time. We'll probably have a few minutes of added time. Oh, the attempt at the one-two nearly coming off, but they still win the ball. So Torres there again. Now he's going on a one-man mission. This time, Dio, the captain, holds the danger. Three minutes of added time. for the semi-finals, all for Cameroon to get three points just to make their situation a lot better. Going into the final match that they will play against Gabon. This game in the second half really showed what, that they uh, they can play. This is a great opportunity. This is it's two on two. Jibril gets the ball across, and the opportunity's there. And Torre just pushes the uh, Cameroon play Abasolo off the ball and forcing the referee to award a free kick. The idea was good from Jibril. I don't know if I'd have gone for goal or not, but. Uh, I think that they believe in the 14-year-old uh, and what he's capable of doing. I would be if I've uh, seen his goal in the first half. And they still continue to attack with Jibril, just pushed off the ball. Taking quickly, some tired defenders there. Now he needs to go out. Why didn't he just link the ball through to Sumar? defense really need to be tight that's a great piece of skill Jibril 
gets his shot in. It was like a pass shot, wasn't it? That uh, didn't have anybody to connect. I think that Guinea know that they can score a late goal. They've got the leg still. That's... Oh. <laughs> the idea was good. The idea was really good. And the cell boosts the ball up. Here they go again. Non-stop attacking is Doss. And the substitutes. Wow, he's just picked up a free kick. No, he hasn't. And that's the final whistle blown by Monsieur Ndai. And the final score here at Port Chanty. Guinea 1, Cameroon 1. Well, you can see the players on the pitch. They are just out of 